I'm Doth Savick, and this is the Revolution Deluxe Mini Disc Golf Bag. This bag retails for $129, and that's what I paid for it. It weighs 666 grams with a single strap that it ships with. It also does come with the small uh, plastic divider. This guy here, not a divider really, kind of a, a cradle to help hold discs if you're into that sort of thing. That'll bump your weight up 118 grams. Also, you can put the full size harness, um, also from Revolution, on there, and that would bump the bag up its weight just over a kilo. As it is here, 666 grams, that is a little bit lighter than the Fade Crunch bag that I reviewed a while ago, which makes this the lightest bag that I've ever reviewed, and it, it carries a lot of stuff for its weight. If you put the bigger harness on there, then you're just over a kilo, and that puts it up closer to like the Grip G uh, series bag. Uh, it's j uh, right, right in that same weight. I've not used this single strap with it a whole lot. I really prefer that harness, which came with the Carolina team bag. You can see up over my shoulder there. They do have that harness available now separate. Uh, it's 90 bucks, 89.99, something like that. And that, that's really my favorite way to use this bag. It's cer certainly usable with the uh, with the single strap on there. They've got tons of extra webbing for length adjustment, and and some pretty pretty solid padding in there. Even though it is it is narrow, the padding is also pretty pretty tall. They advertise this bag as carrying eight to ten discs. I'll switch right over and just take a look at their listing on the on the website. It has two main fabrics in there, a thousand denier cordura and 500 denier cordura. It's made in the USA. Uh, a, that quality of material and the fact that it's made in the USA uh, really comes into play with that price tag. I know that's gonna be sticker shock for a number of people, but in my opinion, if you're looking for a small size bag, you cannot get a better one than this. So you're, you're really going to pay a premium uh, for super high quality fabrics that this comes with and the fact that it's actually made in the USA. They have uh, a few different colors you can go with now. It's got uh, black, blue, there's the green that I've got, also red, camo, and yellow. So you got a few different few different colors to pick through, and you can see it does say eight to ten discs uh, on there. This is sold through uh, Gotta Go, Gotta Throw. That is who bought Revolution a, a while back now. It's not like the most easy thing to find on their webpage, but as far as I know, th this is the only place to get these Revolution bags. Um, you've got to navigate through and get to their disc golf bag section and then scroll like three pages deep, uh, I think, um, through their bag section before these will pop up. Uh, you can probably find them through their just straight search function as well, but not just like Im immediately visible. Eight to 10 discs is what they say. I have this currently loaded up with, I think I have 14 in here. Let me, let's just go ahead and count. In the main compartment, I've got one, two, three, four, five, six drivers, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11 with putters and mids. And then I have three putting putters over here. So yeah, I've got 14. Now, you know, I, I am taking up a chunk of space by having three putters in this in this side pocket. And there's a couple different ways that we could lay that out if, if you were looking to carry less discs. It is great at carrying fewer. When you go to the capacity more like I have here, I'm, I'm knocking out some other potential stuff that I could carry. Like this could be used to carry an extra layer. Like I could put a hoodie in there if, if needed. The, the cradle I'm, I'm not a very big fan of. I'm not sure, I'm not sure why this was thought of as needed or adding extra value. I know some people really like divider systems and, and this doesn't do that. Um, it, it is just a, you know, straight up spot to set those discs. It 
might stop them from like moving forward and backwards in the bag some. There is room for that little bit of movement, but I don't I don't mind that at all. In in fact, I think the bag is better without this in there as it allows the the whole bag to flex a little bit around your back instead of having having this hit you hit you in the lower back when you put the bag on. Also, if you're going to kind of jam it full of discs like I have, then they will, uh, you'll have a disc fall off the side of that divider. I keep calling it a divider. It's a, you know, cradle. You can see that with how many discs I have in there, they wouldn't quite all fit on top. So you're going to have, you know, a disc fall off one side or the other. And I, I didn't really notice that was even happening. It didn't, it didn't bother, bother me. It wasn't hard to get those discs you know, it wasn't like they were disappearing off the side or anything like that. But I, I think the bag is just better without that in there. It's not like it's about to, you know, tip over on us or anything like that. One of the things that caught my eye was the unique uh, double closure on top. We've got, you know, the main tongue there that we can zip all the way around. It's a pretty large gauge zipper. And then you also have a second flap that comes over and buckles in place. That, it just seemed so odd to me. Like I didn't think there would be a whole lot that you'd get out of that, but it turns out it's actually really good at keeping the bag dry, keeping the, your main discs dry, especially on the, the bigger version, the Team Carolina bag, which I'll be reviewing soon. I, I have carried that one in some pretty nasty weather. And even without you know, fully buckling this in place or zipping the part underneath it. Tucked in is where that part is usually for me. But then I have this, I can just pull, drape over the top really quick and that'll help keep the, the disc dry just a little bit. You don't get a full rain fly, so, so that's it. That's, that's what you've got to help keep your bag dry. And again, you can tuck that straight down in the back and it's really out of the way. There is also a small pocket here where we've got a nice thick piece of foam that sits against your back and you can tuck those down that direction as well if you'd like. And it makes this uh, kind of bulge out a little bit more. It's not quite as comfortable on your back that way. But if you did want to keep it out of the main disc compartment, that's certainly an option. And you can see our little flag, made in USA flag there, it, it shows up. The kind of unique grab handles that we've got on here, I, I actually have used that to pick these bags up quite a bit, both on this and the larger Team Carolina. Uh, I find them to be pretty convenient. You might think that they're going to hang over in the main disc compartment, but I realized after a bit that I can control that based on how I attach this harness. If I clip in, um, if I clip in right here, then I'm allowing the strap to continue to hang into the main compartment. But if I push it out first and then clip my strap in, then that's not going to get in my way. But I still have the ability to, you know, grab by that and, and pick the bag up when I'm tossing it in the back seat or, you know, getting out of my car. You can tell that a lot of thought went into laying out the pockets and storage all around this bag. We've got two beverage holders that can take a, you know, super, super large size uh, Nalgene, or this is an ins insulated guy, and, and there's still room to fit even a larger bottle if you wanted. There is a foam inside there to add a little bit of insulation. One of the changes on this compared with older bags is that they've gone with a, a, a full bottom on the cup holders instead of there used to be a little strap there on the Team Carolina at least and you know a little grommet on the drain hole. You notice that we've got a little bit of reflective material on the bottom there. They're calling that uh, truck tarp material. It's it's rubberized. It feels uh, super super thick and I think that'll help keep 
that part of the bag from getting wet and wearing through. If you've looked at, or if you're familiar with the Revolution name from years and years and years ago, they're not a new company by any means. There are still a lot of people that are carrying these bags or have pictures of, of them after they've been carried for a decade or more. And one of the only things that I've seen wear on them is these the bottom corners. Which again makes me timid to want to carry this cradle in there as it just puts a lot of pressure. Like all the weight of your discs are going to be put straight on this little edge and you're just, you're just asking to create wear points, especially on the corners. So I think you're going to improve the longevity of the bag also. If you just take that cradle and toss it, give, give it a try at least, uh, I'd say. If you don't mind the bag without it, then you're, you're probably better off. Right in the front here, we've got a, a zippered pocket that can work as a, as a mini holder if you want to drop your mini all the way down in there. It's also a, a great size for phone. I don't like using my phone there, partly because of this plastic buckle and the, and the zippers. If I put my phone in that way, I'm just you know, asking to scratch the screen on the zipper and the buckle. And if I put my phone in that way, then the front of my screen is just waiting to, you know, catch a toe of somebody's boot and uh, crack, crack that. So my go-to is, is wallet. That's just, just a perfect spot, nice and secure, like a little dedicated spot for my wallet. I definitely could fit my keys in there as well. Uh, more and more, I've been using a little clasps that are on these bags to drop my keys into the larger pocket. That's what I've been doing on this one. Spinning around the side, we've got quite a bit going on. There's a huge dump pocket here that has that little key clip in there. I've got just a kind of a hoard of stuff. There's some sunblock, a water bowl for my dog, all my little bag tags, dog poop bags, hand sanitizer, and there's plenty of room for more. I could easily just drop my, my wallet my wallet in there also if I wanted. But I've just been using that to clip my keys on and drop them in. Now, just outside of that zipper, we've got an, another sleeve that is also full width. And that, I think their intention there was really to use it as a, as a putter pocket. It is a little bit tight. Like this is a stiff, really slick wizard and, and I'm still having you know to work it to get it in there. You can see it kind of pulling on the stitching. If I have the pocket behind it jammed full, then that gets e becomes even harder to get that disc in. Of course, I'm dragging the, the lip against that pocket. If I go you know, the other way, it might be a little bit easier. But you can see I'm still kind of having to use two hands and rotate it in there. So I don't like love using that as a putter sleeve, but you could. Um, you know, also it's an, it's a really easy spot to just dump your phone in, uh, scorecards, a little clipboard, all, all kinds of things could fit in that at the at the full width. And then you've got another little bit s smaller pocket just below it that connects with the drink holder. Where did my mini marker go? Oh, I put it over here. That is a fine spot for a mini, and, and that's mostly what I've been using it for. It's also just perfect for a cell phone. So you've kind of got, you've got multiple layers there that you're gonna have to decide. I mean, at least you've got uh, plenty of options to figure out how you're gonna lay out all of your stuff. And it's just slightly different on the other side. The main difference when I flip over here is that there's a, a little spot added for Sharpie pencils that doesn't exist on this side. Now what's interesting, I realized with, like this, this mini shows it, shows it pretty well. Um, when I've got the mini in this side, I have room to move that back and forth. That same mini over here is actually tight to get in. That center stitch is about a quarter inch offset. 
So on this side of the bag, the beverage holder is like a little bit wider. I don't know that there's any more material, but that, that center stitch has moved over. So this pinches a little bit tighter. And then on the side that has the pen and pencil holder, it's, it just it slides right in. It's not as, yeah, that, that, that quarter inch is for the stitching is the other way. Not sure just why that is, but if you are figuring out your layout for how you're going to store everything and your mini's a little tight on one side, uh, that, that's what you might want to switch back and forth to see where your mini fits a little bit better. Otherwise, it's, it's mirrored. As you can see, I've got my towel and the drink holder on that side, and then three putters fits in here just really, really well. It's super easy. It's so easy to get these in and out that it makes me a little bit hesitant to use that that pocket. If I try to go with a stickier, a stickier putter, then it'll really start to bite, if, especially if you have much stuff stacked behind it. Now let's say that you do want more storage and you're willing to go a little bit lighter on discs, then what potentially you'll pull, like I have a, even another putter in here. I'll take that out. I'll take two more putters out and then put two putting putters right in the middle. And I've still got I've still got room. I could, you know, jam another disc or so in there if I wanted. Now we've got a lot of extra space to work with by having this whole pocket open. For example, if we were loading up on a whole bunch of cans, you can fit three across the bottom really well. And this is just the perfect height to put even another layer in there. Se seemingly designed just perfect to carry a six pack on that side. It's super satisfying how, how well that fits. We've got uh, two other tabs hanging off the front here. I'm guessing their thought with that is, you know, hang a little carabiner and hang a towel off of it or your bag tags, any other little trinkets that you want to hang on your bag. And then we've also got two of those on the back, and those are the connecting points on the back that I've been using when I put the full harness system in place. And that's why you can see that they're, they're pinched in a little bit tight. I've been going just like that um, to, to put the full, the full harness in. This is like kind of large. The harness is really big and it seems a little bit odd maybe for this size of bag, but I just love it. Like this, this harness is very overbuilt. I actually just uh, before doing this review logged in to gotta go, gotta throw again to see if they were having these for sale individually and found that they, they have been put up that way. I went on immediately and wrote a review for them. And I don't like type out a bunch of reviews for stuff, but like I, I can't say enough good things about this harness. It is a little bit wider than what you get on a pound bag. And I, I also really like how, how stiff it is. The padding is, is really thick in there as well. Like I can't, I, I'm gonna say this is more this is more comfortable to me than wearing my Octothorpe uh, or Octo Hall that I've got now. Even though it could or is designed to like carry so much more weight than what you get in this bag, when you have it on this bag, it it's just kind of a dream. Like ev everything stays so light, and the harness is designed so well. It's an expensive setup for sure to go with the straps uh, and this bag you're at 220 bucks but if you if you are really looking for something that can carry 8 to 14 discs well and has enough storage that you know you can fit a six pack on one side and a, a hoodie on the other and you know still have other pockets to put all your other little things 
I, I don't think there's a bag that can come even close to this, um, quality wise and, and layout. I, th I think it's just, it's just about perfect. It's hard for me to think, like, if I was going to recommend changes, what would they be? I, I don't know. Like, I'd maybe put uh, one of these on the other side as well. But, like, as you can see, I've got two pencils and a Sharpie in there. Like, do I, could I really ever need more than that? I, I don't know. I think it's just such a good design. I really like the size of it. Um, not enough you know, I couldn't say enough good things about it, and it's it's really hard for me to say anything negative. Like the only thing I'm, you know, kind of confused or whatever sour on is is this little the cradle here. I just don't quite get it, but it's not, you know, no harm done. I can just take it out of the bag, and I don't have to deal with it. That is. That's it. That's my review on the on the mini. If you got any questions, drop them drop them in the uh, comments below, and I will do my best to answer anything I've missed. Thanks for watching.